My name's John, and uh, I want to talk to you today about the 2016 election. And uh, one of the incredible things about that election was that no matter which side you were on, you had something to be surprised about. Um, one of the things that surprised me was the double bind that social media companies found themselves in as a result of how that election played out. On one hand, you had Putin, the puppet master, hidden deep within our social media feeds. These companies had now become weapons in a new kind of Cold War. Uh, on the other hand, these companies were accused of choking out free speech at home as they misclassified uh, legitimate speech as troll speech. So I wanted to use machine learning to uh, try and identify trolls and avoid the misclassification of legitimate speech. So I gathered 5.3 million tweets from that summer. Approximately 7% of those tweets were trolls. And the goal was to predict on the text alone. So I first looked at word use frequency. Uh, and what I found was that legitimate tweeters favored more generic terms, while trolls favored more uh, terms associated with more divisive social issues. Uh, if you remember, that was the summer of Black Lives Matter, and many of those protests made their way into sports. So uh, based on that, I tried to classify the tweets by topic, um, but the topic model showed no meaningful difference in the distribution of topics among my classes. So I then turned to a random forest. Um, this brought in some of the high dimensionality problems I was trying to avoid, um, and it required some balancing. But as you can see from the uh, blue line of the rock curve, it gave us a way forward. Um, but that blue line also highlights uh, the trade-offs that are going to be made, have to be made between finding trolls and misclassifying speech. And so uh, before we get to the models, just a note on how to read these confusion matrices. Um, you can read these numbers as the percentage of the true class predicted legitimate or troll. Um, so that each row here adds up to 100%. Right? And so this is our balance model. Uh, we got there by adjusting our threshold to just below uh, 58%. Um, we're doing a pretty decent job here of avoiding our misclassifications of legitimate speech. And uh, while missing a quarter of the trolls may seem like a lot, uh, when we look at the raw numbers, uh, you can really see the importance of keeping those false positives down. And the more you push down those false positives, the more the false negatives are going to come through. So to illustrate that point, um, we'll jack up the threshold to 75%. Um, and we're doing an excellent job of avoiding our misclassifications of legitimate speech. Um, however, there is an argument to be made that we are not really addressing the troll issue. On the other hand, uh, if we drop the threshold to 25%, uh, we can see that we're doing an excellent job of identifying trolls, um, but now everyone is a suspect and uh, more than half of the legitimate tweets are being classified as trolls. Uh, when we look at our genie importance, uh, we see many of the same words that appeared on our word frequency chart. Um, and although these words uh, proved important for the classification of the tweet, um, their presence did not guarantee a correct classification. So here are two tweets that the model uh, misclassified. Uh, both of them are about the police. Um, and my question to you is, can you correctly classify these tweets? Here are the true labels. Um, perhaps you were surprised, perhaps you weren't. Um, either way, I'm gonna give you another shot. So same thing, uh, two tweets about the police misclassified by the model. And here are our true labels. Um, so I think for the future, um, certainly these misclassifications are worthy of uh, further investigation. And that would be my immediate next step. Um, I also think that given the difficulty in balancing the misclassifications of legitimate speech with identifying trolls, um, other models should be considered, uh, perhaps something like BERT that does a better job at uh, identifying context. Um, but for now, I will leave you here and we will consider those tasks for another day.